I'm about to edit this video. I just want to say to you guys, before you watch this, a lot of different things happen because I've never done a wastegate dump before or had to cut stuff up. So it looks kind of bunk, but I did it at home like in a couple hours no like special like crazy tools or electric tools really so before a lot of people get on here and watch this and like say that it looks shitty or uh that it's like a jank setup like i don't really care but i'm just warning you beforehand that it's not any type of like fancy cool cr like crazy work it was just making do with what i had and uh you know get just so i can have a hood dump you know wastegate so i just want to say that before before you know everybody got into the video so this is the video <laughs> all right today's the day started tearing uh the engine bay apart a little bit so got the coil pack off and the heat shield just so i can uh have a little bit more room the cow is up there so <clears throat> I kind of tried doing this already before, but I decided to stop because it's going to be like way back here. So I'm going to have to take the wastegate off and flip it upside down. Hopefully be able to map out where the hole's going to be. So I'm just going to drill a hole to start and then use like some uh, metal snips to cut the hole out. So I'm just going to get taking everything apart first. This gate is off. So... Basically, I just have to figure out the orientation. So I went ahead and took the tube off of here and I'm just gonna hold it up over by the, about where I think it's supposed to be at and try and figure out where it's gonna go. So this, I, this is what I was trying to do last time. You can see how angled that is. It's gotta be like, it's gotta be like flat like that. So that's what the biggest issue is gonna be is trying to figure out where the holes, or where the tube's gonna go out of the cow at. So I can't really have this flush down here and be able to like see where it's gonna end up at. So my idea is this is about how it's gonna sit, but just lower. So I'm trying to map out that if I dropped it straight down that it's probably gonna come out around right here. So pretty much I'm just going to start cutting a hole and hoping that it works. So I'm not gonna cut the cowl until I know exactly where it is. I'm gonna leave the cowl off until I figure out if I really like it or not, like what the wastegate does. So I'm just gonna drill a hole and start cutting, I guess. Finally got the hole started there. We had to start with a small uh, drill bit and then step it up to a bigger one so I could get these inside of there. So now I'm just gonna try and cut out a hole that's big enough to fit the, uh, the dump tube in. Go and judge me. I told you I was gonna do this with all of my tools and no special fab work. So this is what we're working with right now. I couldn't get those snips to like do a circle in there because it's too small of a space so yeah just kind of just kind of made it work and it's a hole so if you want to judge me then i don't care so this is what's gonna happen so we're about to try and test fit this on and see if it'll actually work on the wastegate the orientation is really close so we're just gonna dry fit it real quick and and hope that it works like kind of first try kind of kind of talk while well. all right so we opened up this hole a little bit more and we're just dry fitting this right now well hopefully it's it's permanently fitting it because yeah, hopefully we got this in the first shot and it's pretty close i can tell you that we're gonna i think i'm just gonna try and tighten that on there and see if it works because it should it i mean it looks like it's it but we might yeah. have to still finagle it just a little bit, but I think, I think we're pretty damn close. I think so. we're close. I think we can make it work maybe. Yeah. So yeah, that's where we're at. Um, I so we literally are so close. Like you can see it, it's, maybe you can see it still, this right here is just a little bit too low. 
so it needs more movement so basically what i was going to do in the first place i should have done and i'm going to cut all this out so i have more breathing room so i'm just going to freaking cut it up and probably and i could probably make it look nicer that way anyway so i'm just going to cut it because yeah, as of right now it's uh pretty hecked <laughs> i mean it works I yeah mean, that's what matters the most but... yeah um where is all right it so you cut out this hole a little bit and you kind of massage the metal here so it's not a straight point out. And then uh, we're actually gonna take it back off and clean up the metal back here. And it should fit once we go back in, so. Yeah, I think it will right now as is, but I definitely wanna clean that up, especially so you guys can't hose me or anybody that randomly gets on my channel is like, oh, it looks like shit, man. <laughs> Booth 3000. Yeah. It's kind of this whole car, honestly, so. All right, that's uh, a little bit better than uh, the, all the bending stuff. So it's really hard to get the cutting tool in there to be able to like smooth that out, but like that's way better than it was. So we're gonna try and fit her one more time and see see what we can what we can do. All right, there she is, secured. Now, of course, another issue, the hood won't close. So I'm about to just take a Sawzall and cut it like flat, kind of. So that's, that's our next step. And then I'm gonna finally go take it for a spin. Well, we took the pipe back off, cut it so it clears the hood. And this is his solution for cutting it. I don't have a the right blade but this is still metal so <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna happen <laughs> gotta make you gotta make do with what you got really i told that's what i said at the beginning or when i said i was gonna do this video tried to use a handsaw and this while i was on the car and i failed so this is a good enough garage isn't that, isn't that what it is? Good yeah. enough garage? Haggard garage, one of those, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See, she's not very happy now. No. Dude, this worked before. We've done this before. We actually did do this on some cars, but... I told you it'd work. <laughs> Ooh, it works. I just don't know if it's the cleanest cut in the world, but it, it, it'll do. That's why we got a we got a grinder and a file. It'll be fine. We put it on again after he cut it, and still wasn't enough. So we're gonna go for round two. It needs to be like this, because just this little part. Oh, well, that's weird. Right there, need this hitting right now. So time to cut her again. Sadly. All right, there we have it. Finally got it clear. It's not very subtle at all. It kind of sticks up a lot, but screw it. All right, I just want to give a quick shout out to Kyler. He helped me out a lot with doing this. This is his badass GTI. So it's uh, stage two. Yep. Stage two. It's freaking clean as heck. Bagged WCI wheels. I'll put his uh, I'll put his Instagram down down there so you can go follow him. Give him a give him a shout out and uh, yeah. So we're gonna let this thing warm up for a minute and uh, I'm gonna do some two steps. If it doesn't shoot flames, I'm gonna be upset. But I think it should. So just wait a second. Next clip will do it. Two flames, but it's pretty aggressive. Well, this 
this is what I get for, uh, you know, trying to film a video and do a pull because I knew that axle was not good and I did it anyway. I think these parts are just my boot. I hope. I don't know what all happened. It definitely wasn't good. We're not leaking anything right now. I think the axle just blew apart, but it's like stuck. Yeah, that's like, that's part of the axle, isn't it? Yeah, it's the inner bearing on that from the axle. Yeah, so that's the worst I've ever blew one out. Um, I just did a pull over there and it was fine. Um, I didn't bang rev limiter or anything like that. That axle is just junk, obviously, and now we're stranded. And I did it in the, the farthest part away from my house that we could be right now. So I don't know really what we're gonna do, but um, I did the wastegate dump hood thing for you guys. So ended uh, ever so amazingly, but uh, yeah, it happened. So I guess, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'll uh, let you know when the car's back on the road. <laughs> See you next time.